Oh, hold on though, one second, I'm getting sexted. <laughs> oh, it's Wiener again. Yeah. It's another uh, Wiener. He's saying another Wiener. Oh, that one's, he's semi there on that one. Uh, hold on, one second. <laughs> oh my God. Send. Okay, that'll keep him for a while. Was that bad? I was trying not to be vulgar, but I thought it would be funny. <laughs> Maybe he'll tweet it and I'll be famous. <laughs> and run for office. <laughs> I could. Um, uh, but I, I don't really follow politics. Uh, I don't follow, you know, do, I don't do too many current event stuff, you know. But I, one, one thing that you could do, say, like, it's like now, and it works in the present time, or the future, or Elizabethan period, or BC, or AC, whatever, DC, it could work any time, is, um, is uh, guys, stop raping. <laughs> Would you stop already? It's old news, it's not working. You're not going to get away with it. You might for a while, but somebody's going to get caught. Cut it out already. Don't stick it where it doesn't belong. Believe me, we want it, but maybe not from you. Or whoever. But don't force yourselves. That's all I'm saying. I like, this, I, I like that topic, but I'm working on it. I haven't come up with an ending, so if anyone thinks of something, you get a free t-shirt. <laughs> or something. But yeah, that's. I'm just so sick of being like molested. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just disgusting. Like, that's like, get your fucking hands off my chest. I don't want it. Stop. And then you're like, yeah. You then you grab them, and they're like, <laughs> and I'm not a dirty comic at all. I'm just mad. I'm mad. <laughs> I, I'm not one of those oh, chick comic talking about dicks. I'm not, really. I am not one of those. I'm just pissed. I'm tired of being raped. I'm just sick of it. And then they get your leg and they do that. And they're like, oh, stop dry humping my leg. Just like, put it somewhere. Do something. And that stupid, huh? Wiener guy, you know, he's married and the wife's beautiful. And then he's like, Sending out his thing, like what a narcissist pig. I know, is that right? Yes. <laughs> Come on already. Just like can't you just jerk off all the time? Isn't can't that be enough? Do you have to rape and pillage? For Christ's sake. <laughs> I was speaking up for the women tonight. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry guys. I mean uh, you know. Upset you or anything? It's okay. We'll take it. No, but I, I, I pick. Hey, like it's probably just me. I picked the wrong guys. You know, well, for dating wise, you know, not raping. Cause that's not ball. You don't choose that. <laughs> kind of happens accidentally. You're not looking. You have the mace. You just didn't get to it in time. No, I'm kidding. It's, I'm sort of kidding. <laughs> One out of three women are raped, but you know, it's a joke. <laughs> but otherwise, we're not going to really address it. It's not really true. It really happens. Not to anyone here. Nobody. But anyway, keep your junk in your pants. That's all I'm saying. For your cod piece. I think that's what they said back then. Keep it in your... I know, I'm edgy tonight because I'm mad. I'm sick of it. I'm really sick of the Arnold and well, the maid, she was on all fours changing the sheets. I fell on top of her vagina. Or something. And Maria's like, stand by your man. He's nice. Yeah, for a molester. Yeah. Well, he's good to his kids. Well, okay. Dad. 
<laughs> no, my dad was, you know, they're weird. Guys are so weird about the sex thing. Like my dad, you know, we were so close. Like when, when I was one, we were like inseparable. We were like, hi. And then all of a sudden I like start like a 10, 11. He gets all weirded out. Like nothing happened, you know, it wasn't like that. No, seriously. <laughs> But no, but he starts getting weird, like, get away, I can't sit on his lap anymore. He's like, get away, shoo, don't even stand next to me. I'm like, well, I don't know what's going on. I say to my mom, I'm like, mom, what's wrong with dad? He won't even let me sit on his lap anymore. She goes, well, honey, your dad has sexual feelings that he doesn't understand, so he rejects you, forcing you to feel abandoned and seek the love and approval of unavailable men for the rest of your life. <laughs> So that's where it starts. 